this dagger. This ah! What? Okay, okay. This has gotta be it. Oh, it has the elder sign! Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my that's god. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was stressful. <laughs> I feel bad for oh. my cat. The Nameless Bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to set it back into the painting. He later discovered the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named El Elgeron Elgeron Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. Okay. Um, oh my god. Anyway, continuing. Um, Jesus. My cat literally jumped on me and spooked the shit out of me. That was, <laughs> that was not fun. Oh. Shit, somebody beat us too. Did we keep the dagger? Good question. So, oh yeah, I hope so. So, anything with a star is an elder sign. I think a star Where's with an eye. Bookseller? So, that would that'll be our key for figuring how to eliminate monsters or some shit like that. Book. Freud's the interpretation of dreams. Oh, it's fuck. the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Oh, Wait, Freud. Okay, fuck Freud. Freud. This practical work written by Sigmund Freud for psychologists describes the techniques of analytical interpretations of dreams. The analysis must uh, follow several rules, especially that of free association, a principle announced by Freud at the end of the 19th century. It treats dreams as a way of revealing buried desires. I cannot believe that this theory is applicable to my nightmares. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got points. Did we? Oh no, we didn't. Yeah, yeah we, we did too. Well, uh, put one in investigation, and then that's maxed. So take that one out, and maybe put that in psychology, or do you want to max that out more? Because psychology is it's quite useful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can maybe put that at fifty, right now. Yeah, I want to level up psychology now. Um, but you want to, it's okay to max out investigation because that's what I want since we're right there. Yes, that's what I said. So hit oh. under. Oh, hey. An old diary. Ooh. The pastor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to the voice of his head, because it holds the truth. It doesn't really give us points though, right? No, but we're collecting knowledge and evidence? Or lore building? You know, I question these little lambs. Yeah, they still look very suspect. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, okay. In the 19th century, as America's whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding dark water. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because, up till then, the region was a favored refuge for Satyrian? Cretian? Cretian? Yeah, I what? I guess. Uh, and uh, citizens. So, uh, in 1847, after months of pursuit, Cilia returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. This crew asserts the sea. Uh, that the sea monster had eaten all the speared whales. After a night of ferocious combat, 
The survivors managed to drag the beast onto the whaling ship. Hmm. Uh, this person is like a surgeon? Or just... Oh, hey. He's a bookkeeper. Oh yeah, I definitely need to pop this because like lighting reveals certain objects. Does it? Uh, yeah. Or I remember something like a little flame icon. Oh wait, turn around. Hmm? Go back in there. To your, to your right. Oh wait, to your right. That's, that's, oh, that's the oil. Just flame. Okay, never mind. Okay, I just want to double take on everything. Every crook and cranny. Is there anything on the ground? Nope. The sensitivity still gets me. Right? And it's like the lowest. Tell me it's your DPI. My bad. Ooh, more books. Eh, yeah, let's move on. We don't have to read all this. This is just more lore. For dark water, which I don't really care about. But, but, but I the Book of Zion it. is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. What's this? These Tibetan writings are at the origin of the esoteric movement founded by Helena Blavatsky at the end of the 19th century. The creator of Theosophy would have drawn extensively on the text of his work, but no one has ever been able to consult them. While they didn't exist, this book discovered in the nameless bookstore in Darkwater could be as much a fake as irrefutable proof of Blavatsky's sincerity. Oh, hey. Oh, shit, occultism. Yeah, we're Wait, what is that? Shit. Oh, more medicine! Even a few years back, it was possible for a single practitioner, practitioner to know all the medical knowledge of his time. This book, which concludes the series, shows that this is now virtually impossible after 10 renowned doctors took part in putting together this collection. Hell yeah. I love books. Books gives you oh. knowledge. Remember kids. Reading provides so much knowledge where you pursue, uh, will lead you to victory. Or something okay. like that. Clearly, clearly know what you're talking about. Would you read I mean, the book? Ooh, okay. Yes. I would read the book. What does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy oh God. knowledge. Wow. This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as a reference work on the beastry of myth, without giving details on the mythology to which it refers. Its pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. Yeah, and good job pronouncing that. Interesting. So, like, look at our occultism. 60%. I'm wondering if, like, having it maxed out is a bad thing now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Are we gonna go super insane if it's at 100? Uh... I doubt it. Maybe... low. I'm starting to think it might. It might. Oh, hey. As precise and illustrated with a much detail as the first volume, this book focuses on the healing surgeries specific to malformations and motor disorder. Ooh. Medicine. Anything? No. Huh. Rocks. And this is a bookstore? Uh Hey. Ow. Bright light! What happened here? Hello? Let's start over. Where did they break All in right. from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. Agreed. I mean... Cut themselves. 
Oh, hey. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. A tall man. The uh, table? Yeah. Ooh, this burglar medicine. seems to be rather clumsy. Correct. Vomit? It's probably vomit. Okay. Ooh, can't see, but okay. Yeah, I couldn't see either. That's why I was stepping out. Oh, okay. Ooh. That hurt my eyes. Oh. Oh. What's oh okay. The... What killed all these animals? Well, what are those cockroaches? Looks Ooh, like it. Yeah. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Oh. What is that? Read it. It's the Elder uh, Sign. It is the Elder Sign. What the... Charles Hawkins? <laughs> he, wait, look at him. Look at him. I know. Oh, okay. Looks well, like you were like looking away. Hawkins. Yeah, because the Elder Sign is the protection. Yeah. We got it. Oh, wait. That's Sarah Hawkins. Yeah, it is yeah. Sarah. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins painting possess? I mean, she really knows how to get around. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Hold on. Oh, okay. hey. Yeah. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Oh, I guess we're done. Hold on. I just want to double check everything. Are you sure when it pops up saying that you can go back? That That's everything. Oh, we're wrong button. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Ugh. A page seems to be hidden here. It's possible to read. If somebody finds these mem memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and, my, and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality. In order that they will be recovered and burned, the funeral urn must be given to my dear mother. If she's still of this world. The following message of the capital importance. Oof, you wanna read a couple of these paragraphs? Uh, <laughs> yes. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates uh acuity acuity? As sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders. Each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason. But this order is the delight of imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. Scroll down. I'll if by read. chance a person uh, or... Sh oh, okay. I'll go for read this last paragraph and I'll read the last one. If by chance a person or... Uh, or should I say a genius was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its content into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miss Cantonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope they will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from you actions. From you actions? From you actions. <laughs> oh, hey. A strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. This pin of the is in the shape of a large dog. I don't know what it represents. I might find out more searching the bookstore. Alright, I'm actually gonna use the lantern. 
Ah! Oh, you're blowing your nose. The least that it can be said that this book is that its title is well conceived. The illustration of human anatomy and its dissection methods presented are illustrated in great detail. You have to have a strong heart or the detachment proper to doctor to consult its pages. Neat. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Huh. This is booksellers suffer from insomnia. So what does that mean? Like if everyone's taking the sleeping pills, so everyone's suffering from nightmares just like him? Probably. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Oh. You want uh, me to read this too? This or you wanna key, I can go. This key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star in the branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the Great Old Ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the d misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips of to K Cairo. Mm -hmm. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Okay. So. What are oh. You doing? We need a three cylinder clues or whatever. Behind you? What? Uh, wait, never mind. We were looking. Oh, hold so, on. Uh, yeah. Um. Where's the? Oh, inventory. Where's the dog? What dog? The the dog Stro medallion. Oh, here it is. Why do we need this? I thought there was going to be a clue on it. That's all. What? Why? I, something engraved on it and stuff like that. Hey, they allow us to uh, rotate it. I just want to make sure. I don't think we've... I don't think we found an item yet that we had to rotate. So I don't know if this is like, if that's oh. a mechanic. Oh my gosh. So oh many books. My God. Okay. Uh, well, let's get cracking. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Let's just skip through some of this. Uh, I don't on. feel like reading. I don't know if reading all this is like, uh, like what's the point? Wait a minute. How many volumes are there in this collection? 11 or 9 another volume by Arkham editions Repeat Arkham that. editions Hold on, go Never through each one and see how many Arkham anthologies there are Yeah, this is I, volume 7 A book of the philosophy and key text. I wonder if the titles mean something to the clue that he left on the note How many volumes are there in this collection? I already checked that. My bad. Another so volume saying, by Arkham Editions. So we have four Arkham mythology so far. Keep going down. Arkham Editions. Never heard He's of them. Bringing it up. So there's five so far. Like I just want to see How if many all of them are like are that. In this collection. The six. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Seven. Seven. Arkham that Editions. One? Eight. Never heard of them. And is that the over here? I think so. So, Arkham Edition. Like, I don't know, that's the only clue that popped oh, up hey. so far. Whoa. Oh, that's what we need. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps <laughs> listen to them. Oh, the hell, what the, the hell are the books for then? Uh, good question. I don't know. I'm glad I stopped you because I didn't want to listen to you read all those books. Oh, I see how it is. It's just like extra tidbits that don't matter. 
I want to read them. Are you going to remember I, it? What ha What the, did they say in the first book, Jake? Which one? The first one you picked up. Any of them. Uh, what do you remember? I remember the one about astrology. One has to do with... Uh, fuck it. I don't remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, whatever. Hush you. Things are not looking good. <laughs> what? Oh, I guess that, or whatever. Yeah. I was like, "What is? What is he talking about?" Like, but maybe the match. I don't know. Wait, we had the first oh. one. No, we don't. Oh, okay. So play the two and three, the second, third one, and just see what it says. We gotta listen to it anyway. Yeah, oh, but wait. I'm looking. Goblet, goblet. What's uh, that there thing? You go. Chalice. Or chalice. Seem to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and precious stone. Do the ruby and separate make a specific motif? So, like I said, if I shine a light, it seems like certain things will appear. Because that was not an option. Think, I think it's because of good. uh because of what happened. We investigated and now we can look at the stuff. Those books we would have seen anyway. I don't think you're right about that. I mean, oh, wait, we, we do, do have, have all, all of them. them. Oh. What? <laughs> red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay That's to know its secrets. definitely the chalice, then. Hold on, play it again, play it again. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not okay, protect back out. from its attractions, Henry. Look and at the I red gemstones on the chalice. I am willing to pay to How many the chalice is there? of knowledge. So, so start from that crack. One. Uh, two. One, two. Three. three four. Five. 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 Uh, let me write this down. So that's number one. No yep. secrets. Five. Okay. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Uh. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. All right, this we shall pretty easy. refuse to be the playthings of destiny. So we count the white. Yeah. The queen has little protection. That's so three. three. Yep. And then the books, I'm guessing, is what makes. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology Eight. of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Oh. Volume 9. So we need to look at 9, maybe? Okay. Oh. What did Drake say about this Eight. collection? Drake talked about a particular. So these are the volumes. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular. So these are the volumes that Drake was. T what did Drake say about this? Oh collection? my goodness! Drake talked about a particular. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking Wait. about in his message. I think maybe one of those woods was the. What did Drake say about this collection? Oh nine. Uh, Anthros and other horrors. Uh, 1908, Derby was only 18 years old. So, 18? Uh, that... Would that be right? Is, was it was the combination that you go up to 18? Let's find out. No. No, the, it goes it's small to... numbers. So, 9? Well, what was uh, the first one? The first one is 5. Second one is three. And then I don't know, maybe try nine to see what happens. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> that one just gave it away. Yeah, that just gave it. That's a massive book. Or tome. Oh man. We about to get freaky in here. 
I don't think so. I don't see why we get a mental trauma from this. As in, like, spells? Oh. Yeah. Hey, you know, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> moments like this, I just, like, I wish you were wrong. God damn it. <laughs> That clanking noise, like, <laughs> why now? <laughs> because the metal grate, I guess. Oh. 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 Okay. That's a lot of blood. Don't mind the blood. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our videos. If you want more Bad and Toki, we each have our own Twitch channels, Discord, and Twitters. The links are below us in the description. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when we drop our latest videos. We hope you all have a great day and we will see you in the next one.